Hey man, say man, what's the play, man? You know what I'm saying? This is a full a full circle for me, you know what I'm saying, on some real shit. I, um, I never seen a moment like this coming, you know what I'm saying? Um, especially when I moved to Texas, like, way, way, way back in the day, 2001, you know what I'm saying? I moved to Texas, I'm from the East Coast, okay. and I started asking, man, who are them niggas? You know what I'm saying? Who are y'all rappers? You know what I'm saying? And you know, you know, you know, East Coast, we think we we, we swear we the land of the rappers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, who are y'all rappers out here? You know what I'm saying? And they, they give me the Lucy's, they give me the Pookies, you know what I'm saying? Now we hear about Big Chief, you know what I'm saying? And then even the growth over the next five to ten years, you know what I'm saying, just to see it growing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then now you're here with me. Appreciate you, fam. Nah, nah, it's all good, my man. Man, appreciate you getting you getting an exclusive vibe, you yeah. know what I'm talking about right now. Number little razzle dazzle, you know what I'm saying? I've been trying to make this happen for a little while. I want to, I want to urge everybody to keep trying, keep trying, you know what I'm saying? Cause, cause things happen at the right time for the right reason, you know what I'm saying? All the time, all yeah. the time. Now you know, it, I mean, it's right time and right now. So, you know, you doing what you doing, and I'm, you know, I'm back doing what I'm doing. So, you know, we gonna make the most of it right now. Yes, sir. So let's let's go ahead and start this off the, the right way, cause um, I just addressed you. In the name, but not in your name no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you know what I'm saying? Chief. I mean, Big Chief is just what I'm known as. You know, that's the, you know, that was just the young version. You know, I've elevated to a whole nother animal, you dig? So, yeah. you know, it's like, you know, you can't be little for life. You always see them boys drop that little, you dig? You know, yeah. it ain't look, it's just Wayne now. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just Bow Wow now. You know, it's so. At the end of the day, you know, I look at it just on some life things. I elevated to a whole nother animal. I'm grown now, so you know. That's you know, real. Big Chief, that's a legend. He cool. He groovy. You know. Yeah. When I seen when I seen the name, I didn't know if it was official because I feel like you have always been going by Don Chief. Yeah, yeah, I have, you know but it's just official now. It's official yeah. like a referee Wilson now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So for those that don't know, you know, what I'm saying, what part of Dallas are you from? West Dallas. Already, you know what I'm saying? Texas, you know, Land and Bunny and Clyde, you know what I mean? Uh, legendary DOC, and, you know, the legendary Big Chief, Don Chief, you know. I feel like maybe West Dallas might be the forgotten part of Dallas, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like you kind of held the torch, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, not you, even recently. I'm, I'm going to tell you, you can't, we ain't, we ain't forgot. We, we ain't forgot about it. It's just like, you know, at the end of the day, West Dallas is the foundation of this music shit. Listen to what I just said. Yeah. You had DOC, which was first. He was the biggest thing came, and he right out of my projects, and he was on the national scale. And then when it came to the streets, it was me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't forget about what everybody building on top of. Yeah. Now, true enough, people start growing and they do tend to forget that goddamn me root until that root goddamn me let them know you ain't shit without me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, uh, it's cool. And then you got to have some people from West Dallas, you know, to come and still set a blaze and add more fluid to the fire that I set. Yeah. So if you ain't got nobody coming out behind me, then, you know, it is what it is. So you had other cats from other parts of the hood, you know what I'm saying, getting exposed, you're doing their thing. So it was, you know, it's cool, but we the, we, you know, we the foundation. We what they building, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm help, I'm what they building on top of. From yellow Trap, Mo, shit, Lil Runny, Goddamn me, sell me everybody, the young female rappers that don't even know who I am. Yeah. I'm what they help building out for and they don't know that. So I, I like that um, you do say that because even me being a fan and watching over time, like um, one of the things that I, I know that you were one of the first rappers out here, and I think I even made the most about it was like even just the, um, the adoption of design, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like even the, the ad is sat, you know what I'm saying? Right. You've been screaming that for 10 years, you know right. what I'm saying? And I, especially at the time, when from an East Coast nigga, I'm looking at it like, these niggas don't even fuck with designer. They 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 baggy your bowl, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. You 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 were you were stepping at that time, you know yeah. what I'm saying? To where now it's kinda It's the fair, it's the it's the the norm. It's the outfit, yeah. You know, you know, and I get it. You know, shout out to my guy, you know, uh exclusive game, you know, now he do everybody's shit, you know, but he know, no, nah, that 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 flavor and that bus sway came from me, you know, the Chanel's and the, you know, the Fendi's and all that, all that with Ross and Kelly Menwo, 
You know, you see me back in 08. They want to look at me in 08 and look at them. Yeah. Look at them in 07, 08, 09. They want, that want they fun sway. That want they swagger. You know what I mean? You know, and uh, so, you know, in front of young kids, all that, you know, who who screaming it like, you know, it was some people before me. You know what I'm talking about? I was just, you know, the first to do it in my goddamn jurisdiction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I look at it, I be like, it's cool. I just, it would be groovy if they put a tag on it. But, you know, I put a tag on it myself. Like yeah. you say, I've been saying Sachi for over, you say 10 years. I've been yeah. saying a little bit longer than that. You know what I mean? So, so how did you even come up with that? Like, you know I what I'm mean, saying? My guy, man, my guy Punchy, man, uh, he just said a whole lot. She older than us, and uh, he just a penitentiary nigga. He just <laughs> gifted. He just say all kind of, you know, shit. You dig? Yeah. And he was like, you know, we used to shoot dice, and he, you know, I'm Sachi, baby, Harachi. He just, you know, and it was just like shit. It was something I dug, and I was like, shit. I just turned it into. You know, just my lingo, and you know, just you know, brought it to life like Jordan did the fade away. Yeah. You know, I just brought that boy to life. That's for real. Yeah. So when I say twenty three sitting under my car, yeah. What was the next line? Yeah. You looking at a neighborhood superstar? Yeah, yeah, man. That, that, that's one of my favorite songs yeah. from. You know what I'm saying? I feel like um, is that your biggest song? Like even I guess maybe commercially, yeah, or was it the one with uh, Jim Jones? My swag was the one that that uh, charted. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? I mean, the check is just a, a city, a city favorite. It never, you know, it's just one of the ones that you put on and just it just a feel like I got to join on the new album. I feel I like I feel like, like but I feel like like even maybe for lack of better words, like the check had the pimp feel to when it came out for that. I felt like like I mean, on the commercial level, you know what I'm you saying? Know, Texas, it was it was funk. It was. It will feel good. I mean, whatever feel the gay, you know what I mean. You know, it's just a, it's just a, a fly joint. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It puts you in a mood to where you, you know, shit was happening. Did you write the chorus? Nah. So my guy Brian Keat, which was the, you know, one of the producers who gave it. It was already, you know, produced for me. I just had to go and lace that boy up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, he gave it to me like I got one for you. That was it, you know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't really have to do nothing but just add my little old bus. Man, you don't, you don't know how many cars I done drive and been in, and that, that was the passenger, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Passenger, yeah, you feel me? Nice time, it's, it's still, I mean, <coughs> check this out. You heard it, but I guarantee if, you know, a 22, 23, 18, they it, you know, if they got some flyness in them, yeah. It's gonna resonate with them like it was brought out today. So even that, so that's like a timeless record, right? So like even with you being an artist, how do you go into the studio and try to create those? You know what I'm saying? Cause we were listening to some of your tracks before and we can tell um that some some tracks will sound dated, some tracks will always be hot no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So even as a creative, how do you go and try to create something like that? That in ten years, we don't even know what they're gonna be on, but we just know it's gonna be good music. I mean, at the end of the day, I try to make all the music timeless. You know what I'm saying? Now, I might not, don't get wrong, I might not hit on every one of them and of that nature, but I try to make all the music timeless. You know what I'm saying? And, and the ones that got down me, let me see me like that, 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 that give that feeling to people, you know, them the ones that go sit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Check was one I felt was timeless when I first. You know, got it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, that boy go be hard. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, I got even, some, I got some how, did, how, did, how did my swag come come about? You know what I'm saying? I mean, my swag, I had already laid before. Yeah. And it was on my uh, Chief Lucas app from Value 5. Because being an East Coast nigga, then hearing the, hearing the feature, I'm like, all so, right. So, you know, <laughs> that was when he had the ball. Yeah, the ball. ball. That was right so, at the ball. Yeah, you so know what I'm saying? Like, Same like, summer. Yeah, yeah, it was like uh, my uh, entertainment lawyer, James McMillan. He from New York. Yeah. So, you know, I dug Jim Bunn Sway. I was like, man, who would compliment me yeah. on this song? You know what I'm saying? And at that time, and he you know, doing, he was, he was on splash, that thing, yeah. you know, yeah. that splash. They was on that yeah. splash, you know, and he was dripping, you know. That, yeah, the tight, was, like, he, he brought he, in the tight clothes nice and all vibe, that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, you know, I got my own swag. You know, I did get swag, you know, shit, make it happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was groovy, you know what I'm saying? He came and 
laced it up right and we did, you know, I don't think he ever did nothing with a, another Texas artist down there. Uh, I don't know, name me yeah. one. Yeah, let me think about that. Um, and I felt like a lot of good music came out that summer. Surely not time. on no big, big yeah, scale. Yeah, no, 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 you know for real. I said that. Yeah, no, nah, sure. nothing from Texas. So at that time, I know it was, you know, I just just to be able to get that East Coast and especially when he yeah, had the ball and record yeah, out. It was yeah. during that same summer. Yeah, you know what I know. Saying? Yeah, I know. It was just like when I got Ross with the when he had BML. Yeah. No, nah, these boys came and messed with me at the height of they, you know, on their big boy shit. And you I was gonna also saying? um. Note that you also did that at a time that when I felt like Dallas wasn't going to get outside features. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I felt like you and Puka Leroy were some of the earlier people to try to do that. Come on, he tried to do that future. And it didn't I mean, go, he did it. I mean, you know he saying? did it. You know, but I didn't. You know, at the end of I didn't start with features. I already was albums in. Listen, yeah. I said I was at Valium Five, Valium Six. So I was already Big Chief. You know what I'm saying? I was already moving units, so it made sense. I didn't need no feature to jump off the porch with. Yeah. <laughs> you know, shit. I, you know, I was solid on my own. You know what I mean? Not to take nothing from nobody. Nah, I've been groovy on my own. You know, yeah. so you know that just was like you know from each feature I got, they wasn't. We just complimented each other. It wasn't no, I'm coming up. <laughs> Nah, I didn't come up on it. was just on some shit. Okay, yeah. that boy Chief, we got it. Oh, that boy Chief, we You keep in contact with any of them? I mean, you know, at the end of the day, nah. I mean, we just did business. Real nigga answer. Real nigga answer. You know, you know what I'm saying? We did business. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, like, even with the um, uh, the My Swag record, like, when oh, that. Get my life. When that record came out, um, do you, what would you call like Dallas? What era would you say Dallas music was? Oh, that was the book era for shit show. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong, the, the track was kind of still Dallas, Dallas, Dallas sound, but my content was, you know, on some Dallas shit besides yeah. dancing, you yeah. know, the other side. And I, and I asked beat, that because you know what I'm um, I think I've seen in one of the interviews, it might have been with Big D's. And that you maybe weren't an actual fan of the Boogie era, maybe? I you know mean, but When You Go Let Me was like a song that they played with Giddy Bitch or uh, 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 Spread Your Legs. Yeah. Or like when you play, you play My Neck in My Back right yeah. now, that bitch go, the girl go start twerking and working. It was just that my content was, my content was more street. You know, my first song that people, heard me was half stepping the joint I gave to Lucci. So that was a street record. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I ain't know you I ain't know you get that Lucci. <laughs> For real? Yeah that's me. Okay. Yeah 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 but you know that was a street record. So yeah. when people first heard me it was street so when I did the When You Go Let Me it was just like they you know it was just cool. You know what I'm saying? But I was a cool with the boogie music, but it was just like, it wasn't what I did. I yeah. I was in the jungle, you know, we weren't dancing, you know what I'm saying? We weren't, you know, we was getting to some money. We was trials and tribulations, shit See, was happening. And, 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 so I feel like you would be a perfect person to ask. Do you feel like Dallas would be bigger now had we really all adopted the boogie movement at that time? I mean... Kind of like it awesome, like awesome Atlanta it, shit. I mean, we did adopt it. It was the only thing bumping and jumping. Everybody got them boys got nah, deals. Yeah. Nah, okay. listen, check this out. Them boys got deals. Them boys got radio play. Like who didn't adopt? It? Who didn't adopt it? Who didn't? All the girls liked it. The niggas danced it harder than the girls. I feel like the uh, the older generation, they ain't the. The older generation it, in the street. You know it, Dallas I mean, got a, got street, a, you know what I'm saying? But the street people didn't embrace the boogie music in Atlanta. It's just the street niggas had a lane that they did, and they, they was able to get exposed too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, along with the dancing, it's just that back then it was just me in the streets. There wasn't no other rappers that... that I didn't have no other rappers like Gotti or or, 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 or L.A. got the game. They had, I mean, they had Snoop, they had yeah. Pac, they had E-40, they had B Legit. You know, you had them boys were riding the streets or you had Miami where you had the, you know, the 69 boys and all this, her and this and that, but you had Slip and Slide, you had Trick. What, you would, had, you, um, you know, what would you characterize DSR? DSR, uh, I consider them like a, like a Swisher house. Just good, like a 
good collective Content. of rappers. They yeah. won. They won. They won. They won. No, they didn't rap for the hustlers or they just they went hard yeah. they rapped hard they made good music to jam you know like them you would be listening boy be like oh that boy yeah they gave you that vibe you know what i'm saying okay. same way when you listen to Paul Wall and Mike Jones back then when we was in we was on because them boy was snapping like they were freestyling yeah i mean dsr you know like i mean yeah they was a good i would look at them like i looked at them like swish your house they won what you know they won Catering to the streets. Yeah. I they was that. catering to music heads, you know what I'm saying? And that's real, that's a good way to put it. So even at that time, what made you approach the song songs? Cause even at that time the freestyle was the most prevalent thing. You know what I'm saying? Moving to Texas, but listen, I'm well, hearing recorded freestyle, freestyle, I mean, freestyle. I mean, listen, I wasn't no college kid. I wasn't in no band. No, I was in them houses, them projects, them slums. So now my, my, my vibe was different. You know, I wasn't having fun, you know, you know, just now nah, this shit was real deal. Holy feel with me. So my content was a little bit go, go be a lot different. Not to say they wasn't living, but you know, I wasn't no college kid or nothing. Like, now nah, I graduated high school and went straight to the jungle. So my content was, didn't have no choice but to be different. No. I wanted some money. Do you feel like the game is bigger now or back then? At least in Dallas. It's bigger. I mean, it's bigger. I mean, I you can't say about people having radio because back and... then we was way bigger. These boys ain't get. It's bigger. It was way bigger. Then we had the movement. You had the definition DJs. You had. We had a real movement. The world. Mm -hmm. We had a system. Hey, you go through here. You you go get this here. Right now, you just having. One person merry go round, you know what I'm saying, and you know social media kind of fabricates things because it it people buy into the illusion. Back then, yeah, the row sold a million records. Boys ain't gonna do that shit. Why do you Why do you feel like, all right, so from an artist and an OG, why do you feel like the perception is that the city doesn't take to the row? He's he sold a million records. This like my guy. Said. This my little bro. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, you gotta be connected with. So it's like this here in the hip hop, the streets is the foundation. No matter where you go, I don't give a damn how hard you rap. If you ain't connected with the underworld, then you only go flourish so far. You only gonna be taking sick. Like you ain't gonna be able to get that that push. Yeah. So with him being the kind of rapper that he was, the music he made, you know. That was one he, he didn't make music for the streets, but then the two you weren't connected with the you know the people you didn't come and mess with the people you know what i'm saying and we i'm from here you might have fuck with us yeah you want us to fuck with you you gotta fuck with us you went to la and you you made joe you plant your seed in la you know what i'm saying it made la your home so what you think the people at your at, at your real home go feel you know like at the end of the day you know he, I mean, he didn't really lay no foundation with his hometown. He, you know, and, and don't get me wrong, the record blew up there or whatever the case may be, but home is what pushed that bitch overboard. Yeah. Now, nah, Skip Man was playing that bitch 200 times. Candy, Candy, Candy was playing that bitch 200 times a week, but one, home pushed it overboard, but you got to connect with the people. And, and, all, and that's what I say. He didn't do a good job of connecting with the people. And we from Dallas, we, we love to cheer on people. We want something to cheer for. Why do you think Earl is where we, like, yeah. they got to come and connect with the people. And where I beat them at is that I connected with the people. I gave them the shit that they, that they you know, I gave them shit they didn't see or what they what they wanted to see from, you know, artists that, or people that they admired. And I you gave was out them. about, you know what I'm saying? I you, yeah, that you can teeth. catch you me. Know what I'm saying? You I was just at that bitch today. Yeah. <laughs> By myself, popping the trunk. Them youngsters don't do that. Mo was the only one I seen do that. You know what I'm saying? He took the done chief, the big chief. Yeah. Method, rain, rain. I so know. Even, so even like so you um so you said you gave half step into Lucci. How did it feel like watching Mo three kind of run with the torch and elevate everything? I dug it. You know, and we had our conversation. I dug it. All I just be like nobody. You know, I ain't put no tag on that shit. You know, like. People know you. You didn't know, but people they be like, "Man, we know that shit. The chief did that shit. That's a chief song." You know what I'm saying? And yeah. 
And it's like, you know, I was okay with it, but it's like, once I got the her and all, I'm like, dang, man, like, you ain't go, like, literally, you ain't, you know, literally, my little homie done performed the song in front of me a couple times and never said nothing. Like, you know, that was, and I ain't, you know, I ain't say nothing, but how you think that made me feel? You think him? No, yeah, you know, he had this shit opened up for me. Yeah. But you sang in my song. Word for word, the crowd out there singing my shit, word for word. And you ain't, you know, I don't get no say. I got the homie hold up, we don't get none of that. And I never knew that, and I was like, you know, I never, you know, cause I'm way, you know, I was like, man, I don't know, he know not what he do. I never said nothing, but that always kind of be fun me. I'm like, man, boy, I got a million views and this and that, and you know, <laughs> yeah, that was crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's always been crazy to me, but it's cool. You know, I always salute it. You know, I ain't go, you know, I mean, shit. You know, as you can see, it helped him goddamn me catapult to doing some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I did my part. It didn't, you know, it didn't do nothing but just, you know, people know, the city know. Yeah. I don't even got to say nothing. My city know, like, we already know that's the done right there. So you know, something I like to ask people, and when I'm asking them, they don't know. I'm actually asking them based on you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this might even be a little bit redundant. You know what I'm saying? No, you so good. when I asked them, um, cause I do feel like there is a difference with my, um, just in the perception of Mo3 between the ages. Um, so when I ask people, based on the interview I've seen with you and um, Big D, I ask people, do they think Mo3 is a legend? You know what I'm saying? And the younger generation, yeah, resoundingly. And then the older generation, it's, it's a little bit, Nah, yeah, it's just a little bit more stricter on the definition of a legend, you know what I'm saying? So now that I have you in front of me, I didn't think I was going to ever get to ask you myself, what's your definition of a legend? Because I think in the past interview you said he wasn't. No, nah, I say he was on his on his, on his his trajectory to be a legend, so it's like this here. Being a legend, you got to add, that's a, that's a very logical question. You got to have longevity. Longevity is the, the, the key. Boys done found out. Like you can't be a, you it's so it's a lot of people who won one or two championships. They don't make them a legend. You gotta have a whole track record. You know, you gotta you gotta impact the culture. You gotta be some people inspired to wanna be like, you know, like what you know, it's like you gotta have all that. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, in the, in the numbers, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, uh, I, I look at it different. You know what I'm saying? Like people look at Post Malone and be like, he a legend. You know, I be like, where at? Like, y'all only going off numbers. You know, like, at the end of the day, we can go off numbers. You know what I'm saying? You I think saw, my generation cares too much about numbers? They do because that's how this generation got to go off of. You know, that's what they've been programmed. Numbers don't lie, yeah. but they will. You know what I'm saying? Boys have a million views but can't sell 10 CDs. I've seen that too. You know? So it's like, I mean, how that add up? So, you know, being a legend, that's all that to me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's why I say he was on his trajectory. Like, you know, for one, you got to put in that time. How long? How long boy been rapping? How long? Mm -hmm. What the boy track record? A winning. That's real. I mean, that's that in itself is... I mean, you cancel that if you ain't put in that work. Yeah. You got four, five. That's why I un, I never understood how they compared Pac and Biggie. You from New York? I yeah. get it, but I don't I don't <laughs> see that. I can't. I'm logic. Yeah. You can't compare a guy who got two albums to a guy who got twenty, and he got twenty bad bitches. Maybe the, the um. What about the impact? The culture okay, impact. okay. The in, so okay when it's like okay, in in to be God to be honest, the impact be happening when boys die. Now what about the impact before? No, Pac was an impact before. We jammed it Pac in the south. We didn't mess with Biggie in the south. We he's a big player guy. This is my guy. Yeah. But in the south, we jammed Pac. 
he made he thug like the culture. He had boys screaming this shit. He it just like when I had boys screaming, e greedy girl screaming, e greedy girl. It's the culture. You know what I mean? Like these boys ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Now don't get me wrong. He in New York, the Melka. So the publicity, the story, the the whole ambiance of like who the the, the makeup of who he how he got built up. It it don't have no choice but to be. They New York know how to make everything over women, but when you be to be realistic, Pac mess with the culture, man. Now he touched it, mamas, kids. We can't the, Biggie go hard, but he didn't do that. Yeah, as I'm going, as I'm going older, I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Like we he still to this day. To the records, you know now we still to this day. You know, it's some things that Pac still resonate. Yeah, exactly. through the people. Not on rap, but just in way of life. Yeah. So it's like she, you know, I look at myself like that, man. I, you know, my DM got so many inspirational DMs. Now this from people just telling me, shit, nigga, you don't know what your value such and such did for me. So me personally, I don't even know how I can be compared to anybody now of his generation, of his era. Yeah. Yeah, he grew, but he the one. Now, out of his generation, coming from DFW, he did the most legendary work. He did, you know, coming from the, 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 you know, the, 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 the ideal of like how, you know, an artist. Nah, yeah. he did that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He might not have the biggest record, not, but he had the cup. He had yeah. the cut. You fucking with him right yeah. now. If you listen, if you say the young, the young people be like Mo three. Yeah. Now I know this here, but it's like. I'm a different animal. You know what I'm saying? My era, I'm a whole different, like, I'm a whole different era. So I went, it ain't even no reason to even try to compare us. Yeah. So one of the popular things going on right now, I know you've seen, um, is the Mount Rushmore meme. It's, I mean, I can dig it, but who has the, who is these people who even have the, the think they have the power to judge and say that this is this. I don't. That stuff don't heat like Lover so and so. You, like what? 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 What do your weight carry that you like? So and so is this is this. Like I can't go by the people because all the people don't be on social media. My fans ain't on no motherfucking watching your blogs or watching these nigga blog. They probably somewhere getting that some money doing some real life shit. So I know I'm not gonna be in the motherfucking. This and category, this yeah. and that, because the people who I follow, we live in some real life. We not, we not, they not on Instagram getting into the challenges and, you know, participating in who's who and who's that, you yeah. know? So I dig that. So at the end of the day, it's like, I don't trip. I be like, wow, man, like. So give me, give me your, give me your, your Dallas Mount Rushmore, because you are OG. Um, I consider myself a historian of this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I try to ask, you know what I'm saying, to figure out. And it kind of leads me to be like, all right. So, so how I feel about it is like, when you say, I say everybody played a part in it. Everybody done played their part. You know uh, what I'm but, saying? And all the presidents it, have. Every, they everybody played their point. But it's only been 